Hello and welcome to a new episode of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, can we go outside? Yeah, we can go outside. So we plant in a new plant. Can we just see? We have some weird coffee and that's the food station, definitely. Kitchen. Space fruit. And can we look at that flower? We can talk to her. Uh, let's talk to her. Let's see what she can say. Please. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. All right. Let's talk to him. Uh, mm, mm -hmm, mm. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm great. Just enjoying some peace and quiet. Okay, Geralt. Mm. All right. Cordova had supplies hidden all over Bagano. Could be worth a trip back to explore. I know I have the force ability to do that, but later time I want to continue in Kashyyyk. Okay, this is where we're gonna land. Travel to Kashyyyk. One of the most well-known planets in the Star Wars series. No, my hasn't been this good since I graduated first in my class at the Lateran Space Academy. I wasn't aware Lateran had an academy. Yeah, it was new back in the day. You probably don't get around that area much. So, what did you train on? Name it. Fighters, freighters, short range, long range, whatever. I flew circles around everybody. You flew circles. Hyperspace space so cool. Yeah, that's all they really allowed me to do. I was so good, though, you should have seen me. I love flying in hyperspace. Right, kid, sit down. We're here. In hyperspace? Can we just. Oh, we can just basically fly because the thing with hyperspace is of course they make it shorter but normally it's a bit long it just like not in minutes an actual service takes days and when you actually think like you are just like in five minutes there no no it takes longer uh, yeah, excuse me what's going on here oh, tell me we're not running that blockade oh only as a last resort i break the mantis's transponder to transmit imperial signals hey grease yeah Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No, it's right. I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All please. right. All right. All right. Imperial ISD two or three? I don't know. I don't see anything. We're preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. Nice. What happened? It's all overgrown so fast? Oh my, what happened to Kashyyyk? That doesn't look good. The Empire is devouring Kashyyyk for its natural resources. Lokis have been enslaved. Or displaced. Yeah, if you don't know, like, oh my god, that tree is huge. Oh, that was a close one, kid. Aren't you supposed to be watching the monitors? Guerrilla fighters, Wookiees and off-worlders and bushing Imperial convoy. Was that an old um, could be landing um, landing ship from the Clone Wars? Like deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options, and, and we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We use the scrap walkers on Bracca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in a Clone Wars. Captain, uh, get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen, <laughs> those Wait, walkers what? double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. No All right. Right, right into the action. Hey, do me a favor. Stay alive down there. I'll add it to the plan. Yeah, do some jetty trees. Jumping, you better do it now, kid. You ready for a swim, BD? <laughs> Damn, that's high. That's so fucking terrifying. Oh, Jesus. Damn. I felt that. I really felt that jump. I don't know why, but ah. Uh. Can he actually swim? 
Oh, that's so adorable. And his hair didn't even get wet. Oh, shit. You ready to do this? Did you just send out? Oh, never mind. We can... That is driving wood. And we can, can we... Can we carpool any of it? Top. Okay, here we go. We climb. It's a bit spider. Okay. Da, 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 da. And here we go. It reminds me a bit of Luke on Hop, where Neville, he was not that agile. But still, nonetheless, he kind of climbed an 80, 80 up. Before we go in there, everybody who says uh, Adat just can't go fuck himself. <laughs> I don't accept Adat. Uh, where do I have to go now? Interesting. Why did I get shot? And jump. And jump. And jump. Let's finish this. Oh, that is close. Ah, he has like a beard. Can we go? Where the hell was entrance? And how did nobody notice us? And jump. Let's climb to the top. Uh, did you notice like the different um, colors of the, the laser for and blasts? Like the red and yellow. It actually was intended. Oh, thank you. Like to show the difference between good and evil. Like in, especially in Clone Wars. I don't know if I remember correctly in, if it was in the originals. But in Clone Wars, it was like that, that the Separatists had red and like dark colors when we showed. And the good ones uh, had um, the clones had blue. And now we are in it. There's no pulse. Your turn to report fatalities. It's the Jedi! The intruder there! <laughs> Oh no, oh no, no, no. And gone. And bum. Damn, what happened here? Hello? Reading a new ship on scanners. It brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull hmm. looking? Sadly damaged. Are you good? 70% integrity in falling. That should still be enough to stop. Huh? Yeah, that would take them out. It actually worked. Okay. Yes. I always oh, love to. What's happening over there? You're in violation of Imperial Protocol. Shut that guy up. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Let's do this. Can we? Can we take that thing out? Nice. Cool as fuck. Oh, we have to walk there. <coughs> Where is the enemy? Oh, there's some rookies. Oh, it's who him. Who are you? Someone who just brought Nada to the table. Who are you? Someone making the Empire angry. We're advancing on the imp landing pad up ahead. With my fire support. Copy that. Um, it's making me even angrier. Nice. So, here's the thing. Um, Sagara is like an insane person, actually. He's way obsessed with defeating the Empire. And gone. I didn't know that they can close walks like that. Oh, he's gonna fall. He's gonna trip. Ahead. 
We have to protect the guerrilla fighters. Almost there. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Can we destroy that shit? Come on. Take it out already. I have not a lot of firepower. Let's... Come on. Come on, Scott. Anyway. I can it's basically ignore a lot of its small boy things. Hold on! Oh, shit. Oh. Well, that was short-lived. Brace yourself, BD. Hey, that must have hurt. Oof, that was rough. That was indeed rough. Hang on. No, I cannot. Damn. Yeah, I okay. broke some stuff. You all right? That was some amazing no, entrance in Kashyyyk. I really love that. You just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. So Guerrero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? <laughs> Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt and peel supply lines. Hey! So, who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. <laughs> a symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Huh. Seer, Grease, this is Saw. How you doing? What do you want with Tarful? Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> you get that a corpse? My master gave it to me. This pad supports an Imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. Intel suggests that some of the captives there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Tarful. It's possible. Whoa, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but... <laughs> it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go. Did I get any experience point of out of it? All right. We are now on Kashyyyk. Um, I need to do a small break. Ah, everybody needs a toilet break from Violin, and I'm recording almost over again for four hours, so I'll be back in a sec. And I am back, and I have to say something. Uh, we'll talk later. Glad you're all right. Yeah, yeah, good to see you too. Your plan worked. And now you want to follow us all. Hold that thought. What was that? What was that? I saw something that I could select. Vokies. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, here we go. If you're not ready to leave, don't bother me. Ah, oh, god damn it. I missed the conversation. Fuck. Look at them. Old Republic gunships. Like the yellows. Ah, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? That area is a blocked off a lot. So, uh, right now, during quarantine time and stuff like that, you are a lot of home. Do you guys eat also as much as I do? Yes, a gonk droid. The most famous droid in the whole Star Wars series, a gonk droid. Listen to this poetry. EG6 powered droids are also known as gonk droids. Serve as per portable power generators and mobile operations or in 
when situation lacking a stable power source, are utilized by civilians and military alike, often emitting a low honking noise that sounds like an avert gonk. 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 I'm pretty sure that's an easter egg for hardcore Star Wars fans or like generous Star Wars fans. Let's be honest, they are pretty god goddamn funny. What's that? Oh! They're old rifles? Weapon case. Oh, it's just a weapon case. Wait, wait. What weapons are those in there? Oh, they're just weapon case. Uh... I don't know. What was it called? It, that, that thing was in, in episode one. Remember? The fight versus the Darth Maul and Weaver. Are the monkeys nice? Have a good one, he's loose. And... Looks like a technician's bench. Let's climb. What do I get over there? Wait, 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 wait. explore that. And, okay, well, let's go back to... I know there's a trap. How much current can you conduct? Well, with this transformer, I bet you can short circuit Imperial tech. What did I add it to you? <sighs> Overcharge, but you can over. Okay. Let's try. Overcharge. It. And here we go. How do we get over there? Hmm. I will check that out later. Ah. Uh -uh. Not like that. Not like that. There's something in here. So you base everybody's right now. Basically, basically in Germany and Europe, most likely suck at home. And if you're not working, yeah. Kind of shitty situation right now. Um... Fuck! I knew that! I knew that! I knew that! I know! No! Yeah. Oh my god! Need a step. Fuck! He knew there was something. Goddamn spider! Need she needs to die. God. Oh god damn it, get really good press but oh, thank god. That thing does a lot of damage. Help, BD1! I'm gonna defeat you. Uh-uh. We have a boss fight now. Haha. <laughs> Toss him. How? I should block it. Help me! Oh, I got cornered! That fucking trench spider! 
French bad. I don't even know. I'm just raging a bit right now. Uh -uh. Car, get away, get away. I'm basically stuck in a corner. I need help. And boom, boom, boom. Okay, come on. Man, come on, you're almost in. Oh, no, 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 why shock are highly intelligent multi-legged predators with a spider? Let's call it a spider. They are found to be extremely aggressive to most sentient, sentient, uh, sentient life forms and are known to cast an adhesive as an enzyme that uh, encompasses their prey in web-like states, allowing them to strike with their sharp and venomous fangs, wisely outsmarting any foe. They often lower quite quickly from the forest canopies or burrow to the surface from the underground cover. If possible, prey should avoid uh, any web strike, but it, if it got fight to escape, attack from behind while a creature is distracted by other prey. This long attack to quickly strike down. Okay. So actually striking down was one of the best things we can do. How do we do that? We can um got to overcharge this. Okay, I have no idea how to do that. I'm not smart enough and I'm gonna go a bit now. Because I want to continue with the story. And Sugera, I want to help him. Huh? Why is he not running? That was weird. I don't get it. Why didn't he... Okay, go for another round. And he goes for another round, 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 and he's gonna stop. No. Damn it. Help here. And he's gonna stop. And now. Now oh, here we go. That insect is pretty. Ah, oh, it explodes, of course. What the fuck are you, Bombi? Boom, boom, flame beetle. This pesky flame beetle is just a flying insect known for its bioluminescence and combustible pro posterior. Those creatures sentience. synthesize chemicals derived from local flora into a highly flammable. Directive extreme caution should be exercised when in close proximity. Containers combustion close. Okay. Mix boom. Here we go. I don't want to die necessarily. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. 
Shit, I'm dead, aren't you? And jump. <sighs> Come on. And jump. I will get up there just <sighs> for sake reason. I don't get it why he couldn't make sometimes. Sometimes jumps in those games make no sense. Imperial sap refinery lies dead ahead. What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we've recovered proves it. Here you go, bud. These refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. That's cool. Woo! You hear that? Said he needs my help. Oh, that's a doorbell. That's such a cute thing. Um. Okay. Let's get some life points out of it. Dead trooper. Saw I got him. He's more ruthless than I realized. Yeah. He will probably realize Saw's ambush. And force push. Um. Where is the next save point? Is there no save point? Okay, in that case, I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, oh, it's interesting. I didn't know that it actually shows me that I have no sim and I'm basically crit health. And yeah, <laughs> if I miss also something or do you actually know how to get over there and get that um, life charge? Feel free to tell me down below in the comments. If you liked that episode, leave a like there. And if you're new to the channel and like what you saw, maybe think about subscribing. And if you do so, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get informed every time I upload a new episode. And as always, I see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.